Okay, who's this? That's got to be Dave. Hello? Johnny boy! I knew it was you, Dave. I knew it was you, even though it says unknown. What's happening? So, have you ever worked on one of these uh, DLTS 500 iPhones? I have, Dave. I have, and I hope you're not having... Well, if you're having the same issue I had with them, I might be able to help you. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever dealt with something that has got so much electronics on it. Um, and it's uh, a little bit of a struggle. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm in the shop. It's my day off. I'm in the shop playing with my own stuff. Just meet me at the laptop. Okay, sounds good. Okay, okay bye. Hey Dave, here I am at the laptop here. I can see the saw. Is that the T500i? Yeah, this is the TS500i. You can see there. Okay. Yeah. So okay. what I'm having is, um, I don't know if you can see closely here, but these are all electrical connectors. Now, I understand this is a fuel injected. Yes. No choke. No Let double. me interject here. Let me interject, Dave. Okay. I will bet you yeah. that you have no spark. Yeah, that's my problem. Is so, it? Yeah. So I bought this saw um, in an estate sale, completely disassembled. So I don't know what happened to it. Oh, I, really? I think from what I can see, there's some considerable water damage. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. That's probably why. Corrosion. So it must have been in a flood. I, I don't know. Insurance, estate sale. Well, there were a few floods in Ontario a few years ago. Right. Uh, so every saw like that that I get in the shop, Dave, yeah. almost all of them that come in have no spark. Okay. Okay. So what, what have you done? What have you done? Because what if I, have, I tell you what I've gone through, I'll let you tell us here. I am amazed that I got to this point as it sits right now because this was literally in a box of parts full of corrosion. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got new crank seals, uh, oil seals, um, yeah. a, uh, a new piston, a new piston ring. Um, mm -hmm. It seems that I have compression. Everything is back together. Um, I'm not, I don't have any extra parts. As you can see, there's still, <laughs> I haven't put that. Oh, well, yeah, you still have that part, right? Yeah. I still have that part, but the way it sits right now, I should be able to get it to run. Um, I've got fresh gas in here. Um, let me show you. I'll take this cover off here because yeah, I'm not, and I don't have it fully tightened up. Now here's here's the deal with this, Dave, and uh, everybody watching here. All the new steel equipment that is fuel injected, Amtronic, still has proprietary equipment for that. Like a diagnosis utility. Yes, you okay. can Google it. I'll wait till you're done there. concerned about your dog is mm -hmm. I'm kind of I'll be honest with you I'm kind of frightened with all the electronics well it is you know like I I've been at this longer than you and and it, it is a, a bit disconcerting because it's kind of like you know the old timers who worked on carbureted cars then fuel injection came along they were all in an upheaval I, I kind of feel like that a little bit okay but I've had good success fixing a few of those yep. without the diagnostic tools. And that's what I want to share with you today. And I hope, I hope you're having the same problem. Me too, because I looked up the cost of this control module. I'll show you here in a second. Two, How much? $200 US. And not only that, Dave, if we can't figure it out, I don't have the, the diagnostic tools for this. Okay. You're going to have to take it to a dealer and they're about a hundred to 120 an hour Dave. Yeah. That's uh, it's that's, crazy. That's more than I want to pay for that. So here's the control module. Um, yeah. There's not a lot of information on these online. Um, so I'll show you here. I've, I've tried some of these connections were out. They were out when I bought it. So okay. So have you? Sorry to interject here. Have you disconnected all those plugs? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you've cleaned them. Yep. The, okay. You've cleaned them. They're they're like they're not corroded because you thought they were in the water. So uh, 
I don't think no corrosion on the plugs, eh? I don't think they're corroded. I had the plugs out. I had the module out. It's not hard. Okay. It's not hard to remove. Here. Can you can you just take one and show us how clean those terminals are? Yep. So I mean, another concerning thing. Can you see here that this clip is broken? Yeah, you know that's common on those, Dave. Yeah, I hate that. So I don't know. Okay, I, it's hard to see in there on the camera. Yeah, I know. How how are the terminals on the module? I mean, they appear. We we can't quite see it there right now. How's that? Can you see that? They look pretty. They don't look corroded, and I think even even let's say that saw was underwater. I think those plugs are waterproof. They are, so they've got the rubber mm. rubber backing here. And, and they I usually have, have electric grease in them as well to kind of help that. Right. I, I have the module out as well, and it's okay. a fully sealed unit itself. Okay. So what I do, Dave, is I have a, a saw or two in my collection. Yep. And if one comes in the shop, I basically just take the module from the spare part saw where they blew the top end. Okay. From not changing the air filters right I'll, I'll like i keep all those electronic parts and then a saw comes in yeah. i just take it off and try it okay so, okay but I, there's still another thing that you need to check here and i'll get that to get to that shortly okay did, did you have another part saw from a buddy or some somebody i, mean, I know you haven't been here for a while to borrow my my I, parts. I can <laughs> see if i can find one um uh, I just have a, I, got, I have a hard time thinking that it's the control module because it's got such little use and it's a sealed unit. It's meant to have water. It's yeah. not to pick up on the saw. So okay, I'm going to reveal. I'm going to reveal right now. Yeah. How I've been able to fix a few of those with the same problem without the diagnostic stuff. Okay, what's that? Okay. Those little plugs on the module. Yeah those little plugs on the module what you want to do is to go beside each plug yep okay and you can bring your your gopro down yep. uh maybe start you know where you see the the yellow wire yellow blue the first plug toward the trigger handle yep okay what i want you to do is just gently grab each wire on its own with your finger okay. and just wiggle it and just in a pulling motion, but don't pull too hard. Okay? okay. And you said you've already took them off and cleaned in there. So I'll take your word for that. I have. Yeah. But what so I have you, checked yeah. here, so that, that pops out obviously, but yeah. Yeah. It's okay. If you've got it popped out. Yeah. So what you want to do is just in a small pulling motion with very little force, Those you just pull on the wire because here's, here's the kicker is what I've come across is some of these wires. When I did that test, I'm asking you to do yep. wire just poof came out. Okay. Okay. So you need to check all four plugs here. Okay. So the first, Real. Yeah, they're all sitting as they should inside the connector, right? It looks pretty good. Yeah, and make sure it's pushed in like all the way. Oh, okay, that's not good, but okay. Yeah, that that see that's the issue that I've run into. Oh, okay, so look at this. So what you need to do there, Dave, yep. is that is push that wire in as far as you can, and and make sure by feel that it's connecting on the terminal in the module. I felt it. I felt it go on to the, uh, the mail okay. side. So it's possible that that wire right there. Yep. Could have, could have been disconnected from the inside. Okay. Okay. So it could have been disconnected from the inside, but it looked like it was on because the wire wasn't out. Okay. Okay. So finish off the other ones too. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. I didn't even feel any resistance. And this is the wire yeah. that goes to the uh, ignition generator, the generator. You know what, Dave? I had, I had the same. It's oh. weird that you call me. And this is not scripted, guys. I've had the same problem with the same wire. Same, same wire. Plug that in. 
take that plug out and and uh, put the saw back together. Yeah, so, the yeah it's part, down Dave. there, but I can feel it on well, my GoPro is having a part of Yeah, that. I'll switch the view here. Yeah. So, I feel like I can feel it connected, um, but yeah. it's not tight as some of these other ones. Wow. If that's the problem, Don, I. You're going to owe me a case of beer, man. I'll owe you a case of beer for sure. Two. Two? Two. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, one's enough. One, one for me, one for you. One for uh, one for you on your day off, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, check okay. that out, man. Like, I'm, I'm pretty curious here. I'm almost sure that's the problem, Dave. I, I think it was out, like, right here. You know what I do sometimes, too, with that wire is I put a bit of super glue just to uh -huh. hold it there. Okay. Okay, just a, a little tube of, like, crazy glue, super glue. Okay. I'll give that a try. Uh, so you want, yeah. Put her back together, Dave. Okay. Uh, also, I think my mentor or somebody else told me that they thought the switch has to be connected. Okay. So normally, I'm not sure about that, but normally you can diagnose um, like a snowblower if the if the key is out or sorry, yeah. if the switch is disconnected, it should still run, right? Yes. And that's for the diagnostic purposes, obviously. Yeah. Okay. But this one, you think it has to be on? Plugged in, I mean. uh, like make sure when you put it back on yeah all the wires are connected on the switch yes okay i i'm not 100 percent sure if anybody's watching please comment on that i don't work at a steel dealer uh personally i usually send those to the dealer if people come to my shop i just say go to the dealer why is that after i well after i've checked what i'm telling you today yeah if, if the saw still doesn't work, I usually just send people off to the dealer because uh, I don't want to be replacing parts for nothing, eh? Yeah, no kidding. But I had a car, Dave. I had a car that if you disconnected the battery, yeah. the car would die immediately. Well, it sounds like a bad alternator or something, then, or? No, the, the dealer told me that's how the, those cars were made. Oh. But, but I just want to make sure that you've got everything connected just in case right i think these wires here go up and over this little hook yeah and the plug do you want to just try starting it or do you want to show us some spark well how confident are you i'm i'm 95 percent sure 95 okay well 90, oh. how are you are you sure about this or what nope, not sure at all but I'm not if, you don't want, if you don't want to take time to take the plug out, just try starting it. I'm not the doctor. So. Well, yeah, exactly. That's why the doctor's online with you today. If you're going to start it, you might want to put that side cover. Just wash my hands. Okay, so yeah. I don't have all the screws done up here, obviously, but... Uh... You've got all the uh, wires hooked up to the switch. Yeah, all the wires there. Can you see that on the GoPro? All the wires there are hooked up to the switch. Okay. This black wire that was coming from the generator or what otherwise yeah. oil um, on a non-fuel injected model. You felt it go in and actually connect. Yeah, yeah okay. I can I wiggle it back and forth. I can feel that it's on the metal. Okay. So um, after after you try it. Yep. If it does run, then just make sure to put a bit of a little drop of super glue. Just in the in the back part of the. Uh... Yeah, yeah, not too much. I mean, you want just a little bit, so you, it does it does it's not even noticeable. Right, but well, it'll keep your wire in there. Just that I'm having with this saw here, Don. Um, yeah. I've actually ordered the parts for it um, because this saw has some water damage. I think the crank bearings are rough. Okay. I don't want to uh, you know what, Dave? I, I want to see if this thing's going to run. Okay. Start. See what happens. Start it up. See if it goes. Okay. And we'll talk about your bearings. I just don't want to be waiting here to see. I, I'm just too curious. Okay. The curiosity is killing me. The curiosity is killing me. You'll have to let me know if you can. Yeah, I'm super curious. And and anybody watching here, those new saws have no choke. No choke. So a no. uh, couple primes here. Purges, I should say, lock yeah. 
Huddle, ignition on. Okay. And I guess just, we'll see if this bag of parts works. Yeah. No way. No. <laughs> Dave, I've seen it before. That's what it was. Get her, get her going here. Get her going. <laughs> Man, that's amazing, Dave. Come on. <laughs> Dave, I wasn't kidding you. I was not kidding you. Come on. I've seen it before. My mentor seen it before. By the way, we got to get my mentor on here just for a one shot deal video for everybody to meet him. Uh, Hugh? Yeah, he's a nice guy. And I think some of the watchers will know him. Look at this. I already know him. Look at this. You owe me big time, Dave. Unbelievable. <laughs> You're going to have to make a special trip up here and, and make sure you wear your mask. Donnie, thank you so much. That okay. Uh, I was hitting my head against the wall. Yeah. You know what must have happened? When I plugged the connector in, it must have just pushed that lead out. Yeah. And you know what, too, Dave? I mean, it could have been out when you bought the saw from just right. from the connector inside because those things vibrate. I mean, well, it was out. Like, vibrate. Both of the leads were out of the connector, but when I put them back in, I didn't. Oh, yes. I didn't yes. hold them as I put the connector back into the module. I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so anybody watching here, when you put those plugs back in, keep your finger on the back of the wires. Yeah. Because if you don't, that little thing's coming out. Yeah. The terminal. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I guess I'll put the rest of it back together. Oh, um, you know what? I won't bug you. It's your day off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Won't bug you anymore, I should say. Okay, I don't want any texts at like 2.30 in the morning here, Dave. I'll be out here working on this at 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, so, well. Good time, uh, Doc. Get it? What's that, Dave? Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay, okay. Dave, uh, thanks again for being on the, on my channel here. Awesome. I hope that everybody watching here uh, has learned something. Uh, this is really valuable information, guys, because if you brought that saw to a shop, if they're not honest, you're going to come out of there with a huge bill. Someone could have replaced the module, all kinds of parts for you and charged you an hour to plug it in. Yeah. All right. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Make sure you're subscribed to both our channels. Comment below. Comment as to what you want to see Dave and I do. And uh, we read all the comments. Yep. If we miss any comments, we apologize in advance. And uh, we wish you a good day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Tony. Take care.